Today we're going to practice using auto layout to build a card in Figma. As usual, you've got your Figma file in the description below, so feel free to follow along. Let's jump in. So in the file, you'll find this card and that's what we're going to be recreating. And you also have some little helpers on the side here so you can grab the colors and some icons and shapes really easily. The first thing I like to do when creating or recreating a really complex auto layout is to start by just laying everything down. Let's say this category name, I'll click on T, tap in to create a text box, just write in category name. Now I know that the font I'm using is outfit and it has lots of font families and I'm using regular and probably actually category name feels like it's about 13 pixels so that's fine. Now I need this teal color, I've got that here for you so just click on I to get the eyedropper tool tap on the teal and you'll get that color. Now I'll duplicate the same text box using option and shift and just dragging to create a new one. And then I'll keep going with the rest of my text boxes. Now for the dot, I have it here for you so you don't need to create a new one. Um, so you can just duplicate it and place it next to your text. You also have the star icon here, so you can just copy that over and place it next to this little rating box. I'll move this down a bit. Now for this some text bit, I'll just kind of tap in and write some text for now. So I'll just leave that here and I'll, I'll handle kind of the color behind it afterwards. And then lastly is the heart. So I'll put that roughly, yeah, probably about there. Great, so that's how I love starting any of my complex auto layouts, whether it be something that I'm building from scratch or if I am copying over something that I've seen somewhere else. So now I need to think how I'm going to even structure this, right? I've got an image on the top and then I've got this like content section on the bottom. So how should I do this? So I really like to start from the inside out in this situation. So for example, I know that this star and this rating, it's probably gonna be an auto layout, right? So I'm gonna select both of these, shift A, the must know shortcut for adding an auto layout. I'll keep it on a horizontal layout and then I'll give about maybe 2.5 pixels of padding. Yeah, that looks good. I'll rename this. If you are ever creating a complex auto layout, it's super important to rename your layers because frame two means nothing later when we look at it deep down. So I'll call this rating. This sum text, I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be an auto layout as well because I assume this banner and this background behind it is gonna to have to grow in size according to what's there. So I'm going to shift A, and then I need to give it some sort of background color. I have that background color here for you, so you can just command option and C, and then command option and V to copy those properties over. Now I can see that the top left is rounded, so I'll select this frame and then put probably five pixels in that top corner radius. Great, I'll call this banner. Then my heart needs to be this kind of sandy color. So I'll click on I and just get it from here. Now my heart and my banner have an image behind them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably gonna put those inside of a frame. So I'll click on F and just drag a frame around here. Um, the banner and the heart might disappear, but that's fine. I'll move my frame to the back. So I'll click on the left square bracket to move it all the way in the layers panel to the back. So then anything else could just sit on top of it. Um, I do need my banner and my heart to be inside of it though. So I'll change this frame name to image frame. And then I'll find my heart in my layers panel and move it inside of image frame. I can see that the banner is already there. So that's great. I'll make my image frame about the same width as this card at the top. Ooh, okay, so you see what's happening to the heart? This is super important for us to fix first thing. So Command Z to bring it back. The heart right now is set to scale and scale, which means it will just kind of move in a really weird way. I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna put it on left and top for now, which is the default constraint. Select my image frame. Let's make it 250. Yeah, that's a good width. Now let's position things inside of it. So in order to position my heart, I'm going to select it, align it to the top, align it to the right. Then I'll probably add maybe 10 pixels on the y-axis just to bring it down 10. And then I'm going to minus 10 on the X. So don't remove what's written there, just tag it along to the end. Wonderful. And then some text is going to be aligned to the bottom and to the right. Now let's think about this bottom section. How am I going to structure this? So 
I can't really put all of these into one auto layout, right? Because there's too much going on. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few more smaller auto, auto layouts before I build my big one. So for example, I think all of these should go into one auto layout and set it to a wrap layout. So if I select all of these and hit shift A, I now have them into one auto layout. And right now there is six pixels padding between them. Maybe let's make that five. Do I need padding on this axis? I'm not sure, I actually like it on zero. I am gonna change this to top left just cause I prefer that as kind of my default. Um, and then let's name this. So this would be um, date and duration. Then my title, I think it's okay like this. It doesn't need to be an auto layout. From doesn't need to be one either. Maybe category name and rating should come together. So I'm gonna select both of them and then hit shift A. Um, I'll call this top row um, and then I'll set it to, yeah, align probably in the center of them to the left. Now I'm gonna leave the padding between them for now because I know that that's gonna change. So for now I can leave it as it is. Once I've done that, I think I'm happy to put all of my text into an auto layout together. So I'm gonna select all of it and hit shift A. Now I just wanna pause for a second and talk about this because this is something that I see people do so often and it just is completely redundant. What I see people do is put all of this content in an auto layout and then put it inside of another auto layout to create the background and give the outside padding. Or even sometimes people put this inside of a normal frame to give it that background and all of that. Or worst of all, people still are putting rectangles behind it. I know that some people like that for some reason, but guys, frames can have properties. Just add the background on there, right? I'm just gonna take this auto layout. I'm gonna name it content. And then I'll start styling it like the bottom of this card. So firstly, I'm gonna give it a white background, right? So add a fill, great. Now I can see that there's some padding missing. Um, I'm probably gonna need about 15 pixels on the either side. And then at the top and the bottom, maybe 15 as well, you know? And in terms of the spacing, I'm just gonna do zero for now. Kind of see what happens. No, that's not good. What about like five? Yeah, that feels like it has enough breathing space. Now I want the image and the content to be the same width. So this card should be 250. So I'm just gonna type in 250 here, which will change it to a fixed width. And now we can have a look at everything inside. I think I actually changed my mind and I'm gonna make it 10 and not 15. So click on command and then tap in like 10. Yeah, that feels a bit better. So let's start looking at all the elements that are inside of this content section. If I look at this top row, so what we want over here is we want it to fill as much space as it can inside of its kind of parent. So instead of hug, I'll use fill container. And then for the padding, I just want it to be automatic to spread out as much as it can. So I'll just double click into my alignment box and then it will use automatic spacing. The next thing is this title. So for this title, I think for width, I'm gonna use fill container. I think for all of them, I'll probably use fill container for the width. For the height, I think what we want in this example is to kind of cut it off at two lines of title. In the next step, we are going to break this card, which means we're actually gonna put some content in it and see if it reacts how we want it to. But for now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the dreaded fixed size text box just so we can keep it in this fixed height so it doesn't grow too much and move the others around. Now for this auto layout that has all of these dates and dots inside of it, first things first, make sure that it's set to fill container on the width so it takes up as much space as it can and doesn't take up too much space. I don't know if I want it on hug or I want it on fixed. We're gonna find out about this later when we kind of change the content and see what happens when some of it is hidden and some of it is too long or too short. From the from section, I'm kind of happy with it as it is. We know it's not gonna change too much. The from, you know, the price might get really long. We might add a per something like per adult, per child, something like that. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm, I'm not even sure I need it on fill container to be honest. So I think I can leave it as it is. Now let's put these cards back together. So for the image frame, I do wanna insert an image inside of here. I'm gonna use a plugin for that. So I'll go into my plugins tool between text and hand. Uh, click on plugins and then I'll search for unsplash. There's amazing photos in here. Just wait for it to load. Once it loads, I'll select the frame. Really important to select the element you want the image to be put on top of. If you don't, it will just paste in an image and it could be really, really huge. 
Uh, I'll just search for something random for now. So let's put in this fox. Now I want to put image frame and content together, obviously. So I'll select both of them and hit shift A, give them zero pixels of padding between them. And then I want to add some rounded corners, maybe 10, clip the content. So it clips both the top and the bottom. And I think I've got a bit of drop shadow as well. Lovely. So that is kind of our step one done. We've now created this complex auto layout and that's already a massive achievement. And now we move on to our second step, which I really, really recommend that you always do. And that is breaking the design. What does that mean? So breaking the design means that we're going to just take this card, put in some real content in it, check out what the max state of this card in. So put in something really short, put in something really long, and then we can decide what does React correctly mean for us. Do we want it to grow in size? Do we want it to always stay fixed? Do we want the text to truncate? Up to you. Let's break the card. So I've just duplicated the lovely card that we just made and I put it next to this card that you'll have in your file. And that's gonna show us kind of what information it wants us to fill out down below. So that's just a bit of content for us to use. And then we'll see how it reacts. Now, this one reacts this way, but our card doesn't have to act that way if we don't want to. So I'll show you some options. Let's start off by changing this image maybe. So I'll hit Command and Backspace. Because we've already used this plugin, we can just search for it in the Quick Actions menu. So I'll click on Unsplash. I know you can use tab and then do everything inside of the quick actions menu, but I'm not a fan of that personally. I'll search in here for skydiving. Let's see what comes up and then found the exact same image, perfect. Now let's look at this little kind of card over here and I'll start typing inside of it and see what happens. Limited availability. Great, so that reacted how I wanted it to react, right? Now, the reason that it grew from right to left is because the constraints are set to right and bottom. But if you didn't align it to the frame originally, you may not have that set up. So let me just show you if it's set to left and top, for example, if I do start writing in here, you see what happens? It's kind of respecting the left and the top side of it rather than the right side and the bottom. Now, the, the top and bottom don't really mean much in this context, but the right and left really do, right? You can really see the difference because Again, let me change it to right and bottom. Now, if I change the text inside of it, it's respecting that right side rather than the left. Let's change a category name to adventure. That worked fine for us. Now, before we move on, let's see what happens if this becomes really long. Okay, I don't like that. I don't know about you, but I'm really not happy with that. This is what I was talking about, about testing out a max state. So what I think I want to happen is I probably want it to truncate if it's too long. So in order to do that, let me just paste adventure. What I wanna do is I wanna set this to fill. And then in this top row, I might just add like five pixels in between them. And all that means is that when I keep typing in here, you see, now it wraps. I don't want it to wrap, but still, we know that it works because it stops right here, leaves five pixels before the rating. Instead of wrapping though, I do want it to be fixed height, and then I will go into my three dots over here and make sure the text is truncated. And then if I put too much text, it will just be truncated. And I think that that is the goal, like that's what I wanna have with this card. So first test of breaking it, Let's move on to the title. So the title that I have on top is skydiving. Ooh, already something's not correct, right? So in this situation, the text is staying at the bottom. Now you may want this. Again, this is all personal preference and what you need. But right now the text is staying at the bottom and I'm not a fan of that. So the best way to fix that, super simple, just align the text to the top of the text box. Now let's max date it. Clicking man C. Command V, not good. I'm pretty sure I wanna truncate just like before. So I'll just go in here, truncate the text. Now with the date and the duration, let's just add in these dates like they have them on the top, July, 2024. And then instead of selected days, weekdays, and then in here, five hours and 30 minutes. So that worked fine, but let's see what happens. Again, Max and Min state it. So first of all, what happens if I only have one date? Okay, so I really like this. And this is what's amazing about the wrap layout in auto layout because now the weekdays just move to the top. Yeah, and that's absolutely fine for me. 
even in a situation where we don't need this weekdays, like for example, this only happens on one occasion, this experience. So if I remove that, it only has the duration and that time. But now we found something else out. Let me show you that again. This card is now 279 pixels tall, but then if I remove these weekdays and that dot again, now this card is 260. Do I want the cart height to change? I don't think I do, okay? So I'm gonna Command Z, and what I'm gonna do is select my card and make sure that it's fixed height. My height right now is 279, don't love that because it's not really a round number, but it's fine. And then this card as well, I don't want it to be hug, I want it to be fixed. So now if I remove weekdays, let's see what happens. I'll remove weekdays, okay. So now this shrunk and from came to the top and I've got this weird white space over here. Troubleshooting, Command Z, bring back weekdays. I think I'm gonna make this auto layout that has all of the dates kind of inside of it fixed as well. And that means if weekdays disappears, yeah. I know there's quite a lot of white space happening but somehow this white space makes more sense than the previous white space. I don't know, let me know if you agree in the comments. So let me just bring that back and I'll bring back the correct dates that I have at the top, just cause we're kind of following that. And then over here, I'm gonna write per 200 per person. Yeah, that looks really good. What if this was an even larger number? So let's say per more than that. Yeah, okay, so we can't let that happen, right? So I am going to have to set this text box to fill container and do I want it to truncate as well? That feels weird having like the price truncated, but I guess you know what, if it costs that much, it's your own fault. So I am gonna use truncated text and that will just kind of shrink it back there. And yeah, let's just bring this back to 20. So we have it like in the example. Let's just do one more check. Let's check this little ratings. What if they were zero ratings available? So that worked exactly like I wanted it to, right? Let's check again, let's make it really long, wonderful. We're just checking that it's growing in the correct direction and it's moving around how we'd expect it to. So that was our little practice session for building a complex auto layout card. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what other videos you want to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you at the next one.